Jaspersoft Studio. In the last video, we installed Jaspersoft Studio uh, 6.2.0. Uh, let's uh, open the designer to create one sample report. So this is the install. So tip, so it will launch uh, JasperSoft Studio. The tip code JasperSoft Studio Community Edition 6.2.0. So it is launching. So this is the screen which appear after we launch the uh, Tipco Jasper Soft Studio. So here you can how to get start, learn more, collaborate. Those many things are there. Simply goes to File menu and New Jasper Report. So basically every reporting tool has some uh, set of templates. So here like in Jasper server there are wide uh, wide varieties of uh, templates. If you see the categories like uh, print ready reports, I'll maximize it. So those many are which category is print ready reports web interactive reports format a4 format landscape and report books like a book so we will select like blank a4 format a4 so blank a4 report and press when I double click, it will go to the Maripos. We can give any name and the report format like a report uh, extension in this uh, Jasper report would be like JRXML. So it's XML JR Jasper report. JR stands for Jasper report. So Jasper report XML. So mainly the reports uh, reporting tools use the XML format. So but they have their own extension. But basically all the report formats are mainly in XML only. So we just give sample report dot JR XML and press next. So we need to provide a data adapter. So if we don't have, we can create by pressing here the new. And you can see th there are different data adapters like CSV, uh, Cloud Era driver for connecting Hadoop, uh, collection of Java Beans, uh, database JDBC connections, uh, MT row, uh, hash base, H base, H base, Hibernate session, JNDA data source. Uh, Microsoft Excel, Mondrian OLAP connection, MongoDB, which is like a NoSQL database, XML doc, uh, document, or XMLA server, XMLA server like OLAP, uh, Mondrian is also OLAP. But the traditional database, if you want to connect, then just create one JDBC connection, and uh, from there you can use like database JDBC connection. So currently for this sample video, we will select the default which already there, the sample database, which is installed while install, uh, installing the Jasper report. So sample DB database JDBC connection. And then we press next. So would you provide any query? Able to discover any field, continue anyway. So yeah, this is the window. Actually, it went ahead. So after this, after this kill uh, connection, when you select the sample database connection, it will 
give list of uh, tables in this database these are like information schema like views and system logs public tables so this is the current this is we are going to use let's say we select product table so we can write like select star from you can drag and drop any table product so these many columns by default it will come if you go to next it will show the fields you want to use let's say I only want to use name and then I decided to use cost so these many fields will be used in our report click next and then he asking any group by if you don't want any group by you can go again but uh, pressing next or I'll just like group by by name maybe there is a product which is repeating might be next it says congratulations all the information to create your new report have been successfully acquired press finish to generate the report okay let's press finish so our report is there but if you see there is nothing in our body report body no title no page header no column header no detail label column footer no page footer some these are the actually the section of the report body and these are the repository explorer and this is the project explorer it is actually loading because I click on sample DB let's press cancel project explorer my report these are the Jasper blank A4 JLXML main report oh, oh actually after I turn I went back after naming so I forgot to give the name anyway we can give the name here also just go to rename and give sample report and press ok and this is a repository ok now here if you see if if you have any want to give any parameter these are the uh, uh, system parameters which you if you want you can use it and these are the fields which comes from our database uh, from our SQL query and like that but for creating a report we need a uh, basic uh, things like uh, text field study field image or page number something so here if you see here these are the basic elements static image break rectangle sub report barcode list chart or table so we can use the table always put the detail level things into the detail band these are all band actually create a table using new data set that means you need to write another SQL query create a table using existing data set that means we already have data set or we don't have we have please select a builder data set let's give data set name ds product And this again will connect the same thing. Select star from product next, and this will give select the fields group by field next. He select the connection 
use same JDBC connection which are which we are using the layout if you want to change any color you can change it for time being I am keeping the same things and now I got so if you see DS product the fields if you want any parameter so this is our view. now this is a design this is a source that means the what XML code inside that report and this is the preview preview means we can run the report we can see the data if you start execution compilation x export time is zero second because we are not exporting total pages 151 pages so same if you see here 151 pages here also so if you want to see the next page here yeah. so this many records actually it has okay so this many pages yeah so why this space and come this actually we need to design the report as such like uh, formatting everything should be okay so we can short the detail band as, as well if you want to uh, properly set the table if you see it become red because it's overlapping so so the reporting format is like uh, based on pixels from height 123 pixels kind of okay yeah again we can run the report and see the layout the format we can remove this extra col column which is coming there if you see again this is fine this is fine so now see again this is happen so the the main thing main task in re designing a report is like uh, formatting and which is very tedious but if we, if we have idea about the pixels and how we can align the bands and how we can remove these extra rows then we can get a very very neat and clean good report so this is how we can create the sample report and we can upload this sample report into our Jasper server as well so in the next video I will show how to deploy this report into the server so that from the user it can access from web link web URL thank you guys